Hello everyone, my name is Salah Ramlawi, a part of the TME team, and in today's video we're going to be talking about API integration with the Forti Manager. As you're well aware, Forti Manager is part of our network operations solution, and it is a very key component in the overall security fabric deployment. With the Forti Manager, you are able to manage thousands of devices, such as 40 gates, 40 switches, 40 APs, 40 extenders. And at the same time, you are able to deploy at scale unified configuration to all of your devices or part of your devices via templates. The Forti Manager also supports management extensions to expand its single pane of glass and manage more security products. Some of these management extensions are the uh, Forti WLM, Forti SOAR, Forti AI Ops, and many more. Now, all of this is done through the Forti Manager GUI. From that GUI, you are able to build device templates, objects, policy, po policy packages, and push all of these to your desired devices. What about if you're, for example, a managed service provider? Now, a managed service provider typically have their own tools. They have their own GUI, uh, some sort of a script, some sort of a, a third-party tool that most of their end users are accustomed to using on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, if they are deploying 40 gates if they are adopting the 40 manager they would need some sort of a hook so they are able to integrate their already existing tools with the 40 manager now this is where the json api hook comes into play this is a very easy and very powerful way of automating a lot of configuration from those third-party tools to the 40 manager and push those down to your end devices and this is typically what we're going to do with today's demo. In today's demo, we're going to have a couple of 40 gates, a switch, an AP, and we're going to run a script that will send API calls to the 40 manager. The 40 manager will consume those calls and then send over some tasks to these devices to add the devices under the 40 manager and then apply a specific policy package. All right, so before we run the script, let's go over to the 40 manager to show you right right now we're going to have basically a blank copy with nothing in it so as you can see here under the device manager we don't have any devices today we're going to be adding two 40 gates the acme store firewall and acme store 2 firewall now if you looked at my previous video about the sd branch you're going to see that this is the exact same firewall this firewall has a downstream switch an ap and a device, and we also have a downstream 40 gate, which is the Acme Store 2 firewall. Now, the Acme Store 2 firewall also has doesn't have pretty much anything. It's, it's blank, doesn't have any fire, firewall policies. After the script runs and, get, and gets executed, you're going to see that a new policy package is going to be applied on the Acme Store 2 firewall. All right, so now this is the script that I'm going to run. I'm just going to go into it so you can see it's just a bunch of API calls. And then when I start the execution, the 40 manager is going to consume these API calls automatically and then push down the configuration as desired. So let's do it. So now in the beginning, the script is going to show you that the, we have no devices in the device manager database for the 40 manager. And now we're going to start adding the two 40 gates. Now it's going to take about 40 seconds to 50 seconds for the uh, 40 manager to push down the command to the 40 gates and then add all of the devices to it. At this time, we can go back to the 40 manager and I can show you the call that was made. You would see here that there's an API call that was made to add devices. And these are the two devices we're talking about the Acme Store Firewall and the Acme Store Firewall 2. Now at this point you can see that the script added the devices and now it is going to apply a policy package to Acme Store 2 Firewall. Now before applying the package you would need to add the FortiGate as an installation target for that policy package which was done right here and then the 40 gate, the 40 manager sorry, is going to apply that policy package to the 40 gate itself. So now let's go back to the 40 manager. 
and we should be able to see the policy applied there. Now there's a conflict in the uh, uh, in the device configuration that's probably normal depending on what parameters have been pushed down. But now as you can see the Acme Store 2 firewall policy package has been installed. Now if I go back to the FortiGate and I refresh the page I should be able to see the firewall policy applied over there. So with a very simple click you can see now that we've automated a device add and policy package apply. Now here's another thing. The first firewall has a downstream switch, a downstream AP. Those will also get automatically added to the Forti Manager because they're part of the security fabric. So if I go back to the Forti Manager, I can show that the AP has been added and very similar, we should be able to see the switch right there. Okay, so one more thing that I want to point out too. FNDN. FNDN is a very powerful and very useful resource for stuff like this. There's a couple of components I wanted to highlight. Number one is the 40 demo part. 40 demo is a tool that allows you to spin up environments with literally a click of a button. I can create a demo and then choose what type of demo I want. It can be a fabric demo, it can be a 40 manager, it can be SD1. There are a few in there that you can use just with a click of a button. Now at the same time, there's the 40 API section. 40 API section is very, very useful, especially if you've never dealt with API before, because it practically gives you every API call that you can make to the component that you need. So in this case, for example, I'm dealing with 40 manager. I can click on the 40 manager side, and then you can see that I'm going to have the JSON API schema for every code base. You can expand and you can look at whatever you want. You can even search for the call that you want to make and it will lead you right to it. So here you would see that it's loading and now you can see, okay, if I want to do a login, this is the schema that I need to use. So you can copy paste this. You can change a couple of parameters and you can push it down to your 40 manager. One more thing that you can do, which is pretty powerful, is you can actually connect FNDN to your environment by clicking on the config over here, adding your host name, your username, your, your uh, password, and there you go. And then you can actually execute the commands from here by simply clicking on the try out button. All right. Thank you for watching today and hope you have a good day.